Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Hair Talks by Terra Medical. My name is Dr. Joshua Chong and today we'll be talking about a topic that's old and new at the same time. Today we'll be talking about how to make your experience with using minoxidil even better. It's no secret that minoxidil has been used by hair loss sufferers for the last few decades to achieve good results in androgenetic alopecia and other forms of hair loss. There are various forms of minoxidil available over the counter such as foams, sprays or droppers and you can even buy them online. So with minoxidil being so ubiquitous and so available and fairly cheap, why would you still ask your doctor for a prescription of minoxidil directly from his or her clinic? Just as a recap, Transdermal minoxidil, and you note I don't use the word topical minoxidil here, works by a few mechanisms of action. Firstly, it opens up blood vessels that supply the hair follicles with nutrients and oxygen. Secondly, it tells the hair follicles to absorb more amino acids from the surrounding blood vessels. And lastly, minoxidil has also been shown to release growth factors around the hair follicle niche to allow for better hair growth. In a previous video, we've talked about the differences between oral and transdermal minoxidil in terms of absorption and effectiveness. So you can refer back to that video if you want information on that. But today, we'll be talking specifically on how we can use compounding techniques to make minoxidil a more successful experience for you. So what exactly is compounding of medication? With the age of precision medicine coming in, we know that now certain drugs have to be delivered in different ways for specific types of patients to achieve the best outcome. Now, the compounding of medications has to be done by a registered compounding pharmacist. Ideally, this pharmacist would have had certifications and licensing from the appropriate authorities or regulatory bodies in your country or jurisdiction. So what these pharmacies can do is, based on the doctor's orders, they can use the original form of the medication, make some adjustments to it, and get it customized specific for patient needs. What can be changed includes the vehicle of drug delivery, for example, transdermal minoxidil as a spray, or oral minoxidil as a capsule. You can combine multiple drugs into the same formulation so that you get concurrent delivery allowing for a synergistic effect such as using combination of minoxidil and finasteride as a foam. Based on the doctor's prescription, the pharmacist can also add ingredients into the solution to counteract certain side effects that medications might produce, such as combining minoxidil with a very low dose of tretinoin to counteract the effect of oily scalp or pimples that occur with minoxidil use. Compounding also allows doctors to prescribe minoxidil in forms that do not have the traditional irritants such as alcohol or propylene glycol. So to put it all into context, let's talk about a patient who would visit the clinic and tell us that they've been on minoxidil over the counter for the last two or three years and not seeing adequate results. What would then happen would be a detailed conversation between doctor and patient about various other options of treatments, giving them complete and accurate information about the options that exist. But sometimes our patients still want to stick with his familiar method of application, which is a spray onto his scalp twice a day. In such a scenario, I would probably discuss with the patient if he would want to consider the use of a compounded version of minoxidil such as minoxidil with finasteride or minoxidil with dutasteride or minoxidil with bitamoprost in order to enhance the effects that he's getting after two years of continuous neat over-the-counter minoxidil usage. It doesn't just stop there. When we change the prescription of our patients, it is our duty to monitor them closely. Photographs are taken of the baseline which is two years after using neat minoxidil and we'll compare that against six months of using a compounded formulation and many a time, but not always, we do see patients respond better. So if you've been using minoxidil for many years and you've been purchasing that online, before you next click on the buy now button, 
maybe you want to consider speaking to a hair restoration physician to ask him about the benefits of compounded minoxidil and make an informed choice on your purchase. And if you've got any experience with using compounded minoxidil, be it compounded minoxidil foam with finasteride or compounded minoxidil with ritamoprost, please share your experiences in the comments bar below and don't forget to click like and subscribe.